because that's every room on this floor too. Yeah. Arcane! I I'm beating random people in a in a in a fuck motel. And I don't know why, but we are. Wow, is someone gonna pop up behind me and tackle me again? Gee, I am so surprised. Man, Tilly, so did you know how to play guitar before you started playing Rocksmith? Or did that teach you how to play guitar? I've been playing, uh... Tilly, I've been finally going back and playing, uh, Beat Saber again to get little workouts, and I've been, uh, enjoying it. My parents bought me a guitar for like my 13th birthday and I never got lessons though. Jesus, Kiru, you're the most oblivious individual in the world. Why is the Ford chairman crashing my shindig? Kick him in the balls! Kick him in the balls! What do you think you're doing? I'd like to ask you the same thing. I went all floppy because you went so <laughs> Well then, looks like a friendly chat and not on the table anymore. Fine, guess I'll have to beat the answers out of you. Try it, you're gonna regret ever crossing paths with me. I'm breaking the heat, Ford Chairman! That guy's got some titties on him, man. Fucking Nishikiyama family, man, is a fucking constant struggle and... <laughs> I, I hate it too. I hate it too, my friend. Ow, you dick. He just fucking hip attacked me, aka he hit me in the face with his ass. God damn it. Motherfuckers using items like I've never seen a fucking NPC do in this game. How is this possible? And why is fucking Kiru just sitting there letting him do it? He just 
fucking like squish me like a fucking Koopa Trooper. Jesus Christ. I'm getting real sick of this guy. I don't pick up motorcycles anymore. That was like Yakuza Zero. You like you haven't done that in any of these the the mainline series. We just pick up bicycles. Also, those moves do, like, no damage. I don't get it. Jesus. Blocking is so bad, like compared to their blocking. They could block for days. What the fuck? <laughs> Looks like they're fucking him in the ass! Ugh. Consent! 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 King of pleasure. Sir, uh, yes. now, now then, tell me what you know. I don't got answers for ya. You're the one who murdered Kashiwagi-san, aren't you? Fuck no. What would I gain out of bumping the captain off? You want to be the next Tojo chairman, so you made a job opening. You got it wrong. Just hear me out. The the guy who off the captain. It was Hami, Hami, Hamazaki. Hamazaki. Bingo. He's aiming the control of Ka all of Kamarucho. Guy had a motive for axing Kashiwagi. Explain. He's got a whole army holed up in Yokohama, just waiting for a chance to strike. It's the truth. Chinese guy we nabbed in our territory told us. Totally spilled the beans. Anike. Everything okay with you? I'm gonna run you through. Oh. It was a weird position. 
This is Kanda? Yeah. Hold up, what happened to asking him stuff? I got what I need. Besides, there's no way he planned all this. I doubt he even knows why Diego got shot in the first place. Jeez, Tokyo is a scary place, huh? Rikia. I promise you, I'll figure out who shot Nakahara. So do me a favor, go back to Okinawa and... Not happening. Shh, OJ. Please. So please, Anake, let me stay in Tokyo. I'm begging you. Diego, yes, yes, I know. But I have one condition. If you come across a man in the sketch, don't go after him on your own. I'm just giving you shit. Okay. I need to be... Can you promise me that? Okay, I need to get pee and get coffee real quick. I'll be right back. Just refill the coffee. I'm peeing. I'll be right back. Ugh. Gizmo does less of that when you're not home. He does less of that when you're not here. He still does it, though. I'm back. I have returned. I have returned. Okay. Got coffee. Went pee. Doing good. Now let's get... Yeah. Yoshi. Good. Now, how about we grab a drink? I can show you the sights. I'll prove this town's not as scary as you think. Alright, Rikia. 
Anna. Or two. Anake, uh, I do want to go sightseeing and all, but you think we can grab some grub first? Fighting always puts a hole in my stomach like none other. Hint, sure. You have anything in mind? So Heck yeah, I do. Yaki Nak Niku. Sure, you don't want something a little more local? You can get Yaki Niku wherever you want down in Okinawa. <laughs> well, yeah, but there's one Korean joint I've been dying to go to. It's the one they always show on the tube where all the celebrities hang out and stuff their uh, their faces. I heard people even saw the Korean megastar Ilju Yu, Ilju Yin Jin there uh, a few years back. That does sound familiar. I'm not sure if it's the same place, but I have a restaurant in mind. Let's go. Please. You're the best, Anna Kay. I think he means where we're going then? Okay. Anike! Anike! Let's save it real quick. I hate this game doesn't fucking auto save, man. Anike! Anike! What's up, Bob? Poutine. I've yes, never had poutine. Look at some sushi things or something. I need something to fucking heal. Okay. I need to go send shit back to the fucking... It's going good, Bob. How you doing, friend? Good to see ya. Why do you keep screaming? Yes, we're going to get food, you d asshole. Can we send shit back in the save box? I'm not sure. Design box, yes. Okay. There we go. So I actually have inventory space now. Good, friend, good. Uh, okay, with that. I think we want to do this. Oh, we didn't save it. Let's save it, too. Slow Saturdays are always lovely. Dude, I was so lazy yesterday. Like, all I did around the house is I did some dishes and some clothes, but it was... It's always so rare for me to sit around and do nothing all day, and it was very nice. It was very nice. <laughs> Till you know what that's like, just never stopping. <laughs> it's like a never stop. Never, ever, ever, ever. Anake! It's just so rare, Tilly. Like, Sundays are my usual I don't do anything day, but, like, even then I'm doing, sh like, photo shoots and shit like that, you know? Uh, if you want to share it in here, you can do it both, Bob. It's fine. Your sub... I have my uh, my things turned to subs can share links. Gah. 
You stop giving me shit I don't want to put in my inventory that I don't I don't have enough fucking inventory space as of. So this is a place. I wonder if there are any stars in there. Get enough in one room and you get a whole damn constellation. Guess we won't know until we go, go in. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. I don't see any celebrities. Hell, there aren't even other people in here. Hey, you can't expect it to be packed all the time. Come on, let's order. It's my treat, so get whatever you want. <laughs> Whoa, really? Thanks a ton, Anke. Okay. All right, let's go with two beers, some kalbi, some sirloin, and an order of salted tongue. A plate of trip, and oh, some burko pork while you're at it. Uh, Rikia. Oh, yeah, and make that all a double portion for me and my uh, Aniki here. Then I'll have some kimchi uh, combo and a kalbi soup. And on top of that, and some nice chilled noodles for dessert. Anike. You want some soup too, Aniki? I don't think my stomach can fit all that. By the way, Aniki, I was strolling around town for a while before we met up. Sure are a lot of interesting folks here in Kamarucho, huh? Weirdos, businessmen, schoolgirls. Yeah. You could just spend an entire year of people watching and never run out of new subjects. Makes you wonder how their lives all led up to this point, converging in this city. Mm. Totally. Wonder if I can find what I'm after here. What are you talking about? Come on, Aniki. We talked about this right here after you beat the human stuffing out of me. I'm looking for a guy to finish my Viper tattoo, remember? Right. Sorry. Your other tattoo artist died before he could finish it, didn't he? Mm. I don't want to trust my Viper to anyone who doesn't get what the spirit of Okinawa is all about. But I'm kind of starting to think someone here might have what it takes. Guys, uh, guy who lived in Kamarucho has seen all sort of people come in and out go, even if they're not from Okinawa. I bet he could get what I'm going for. What do you think, Anake? Well, I might just know someone who could help. For real? Can we go see him? If we got time, I mean. Sure. Why not? But let's do some sightseeing first. All we've done so far is sit in this restaurant. Totally. Let's get a move on. <laughs> Man, Anaki, that was a part like a party in my mouth. I guess you could put it that way. Your total comes to sixty-five thousand yen, sir. Holy shit! <laughs> Thanks a lot, Anaki. Of course. It's like six hundred bucks, isn't it? Well, that was filling. Now what? Rekia, you have anywhere else you want to go? You bet I do. I heard some amazing things, amazing things about that shop, Don Quixote. They say the theme song will stick in your head for days. We don't have them down in Okinawa, though. Don Quixote, huh? That sounds, uh, that should be easy Anike. enough. They're open 24 hours a day, right, Anake? Yup. Kamarucho is the city that never sleeps, after all. Wait, then do Don Quixote's close like regular old shops? That's right. This one has a special hours before, uh, because of where it is. Huh? Cool shit. Anyways, let's get moving. Yeah. Anike! 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 The fucker tase my asshole. What the fuck was that? Yeah, if you put it in Discord too, I'll I'll, look, I'll check it out later, Bob. Eek! I wasn't trying to be a ruder thing. You look pretty good for your age. I spent sixty-five thousand dollars on fucking dinner. That's fucking insane. I mean, sixty-five thousand yen, but I guess it's not that much. But Jesus.
Where are we going? Oh, he's all the way on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm real lax with like all the the only things that the channels that really like Toasty or Nine might give you shit if you put it in the wrong thing, but they're not really giving you shit, so you're good. Toasty will give some people shit, believe me. She gives me shit all the time. I deserve it, but besides the point. These guys really want to keep, like, trying to randomly jump me, huh? I'm gonna send this shit. I like I keep sending shit back to the box, man. It's even more incredible than I was expecting. Sure, are lots of teenagers in there. Yeah, it's pretty popular with the younger crowd. Anyways, I think I'll wait out here. Don't buy it any more than you're willing to carry, okay? Hey. Of course not. Be back in a bit. Aniki. Sorry to keep you waiting out here, Aniki. Looks like you bought the entire store. <laughs> eh, guess I got kind of carried away, but it was all so cheap, and I couldn't help it. Oh, and I nabbed some souvenirs to the kids back at the orphanage. You did? I really appreciate that, Rikia. No, it was no, it was nothing. Aniki. Anyways, you think there's something I could dump all this stuff till we head home for the night? Maybe one of the coin lockers? Oh, yeah, there's some lockers just on the street. Sweet. Lead the way. Ugh. Okay, this is where the coin lockers are. Get out of my way, assholes. God, the camera makes me fucking, like, ill. Anake! 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 Okay, I don't care. Let's shut up and. Anake! Shut up, dude. Ancient steel. Block of brass. Okay. So we gotta go sh throw shit back here again. Dude, the item box stuff in this game.
Why does it just keep screaming, Anarchy! Anarchy! Anake, what's up? What kind of guy was Kashiwaga-san? Kashiwaga-san, he, he knew what my adoptive father, Kazama-san, stood for. Kept the Kazama family legacy alive when he took over as their second patriarch. Honestly, Kashiwaga-san was... Great at leading from the shadows. He didn't really like being the center of attention, but I can tell, can't tell you how many times he saved my life. It was also thanks to Kashiwaga-san that Diego was able to take control of the Tojo despite being so young. He was a priceless asset to the clan. Wow. I always figured he was amazing, but never knew just how much. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I was especially all of... I was especially in awe of, of how level-headed he was. I think that's why Kazama-san trusted him so much. Kashiwaga-san really lived up to that trust, too. He always kept tensions between families from boiling over. Though, of course, that made some of the patriarchs think he was soft. Too soft to leave. Uh. That's a reputation you want to avoid in this line of work. Even so, you can't just fight people for no reason. You have to choose your battles. And Kashiwaga-san knew how to do that better than anyone. Whoa. You must have really respected him, Anake. Exactly, Bob. We should probably get going, Rikia. Uh. Mm. Anywhere else you had in mind? I don't know. All this talking kind of made me sad. Hey, why don't you go to one of those bikini bars I've heard about? What do you say, Anake? Seriously? Hell yeah. You can't expect me to leave Tokyo without first getting a little taste of the ladies, but uh, I can go by myself if you really want. That might be for the best. Sorry, I'm not really feeling up to it. <sighs> Figured. My bad, Anake. I was just trying to cheer you up. Don't worry, Rikia. I'm okay. Go have some fun. But just go. And Rikia, thanks. What? That? It was nothing, Nanake. Just wish I could have been more help, you know? Anyways, guess I'll get going. Think you can manage on your own? <laughs> oh, totally. I got a pretty good feel for the layout by now. <laughs> if you say so. By the way, there's a bar called New Serena over in Tinkachi Street we're going to be using as our base of operations. Head there when you're done wandering. And feel free to give me a call if you have trouble finding yeah. it. we Will do. Catch you later, Anake. By the way, Anake, here's a little thank you for showing me around. Well, later. It's a zero jewel. Hello? Kiru, it's me. How'd things go with old Baldy? I found him. He was horrible, all right, but he's pretty small time. I don't think he has the wit to outsmart Kashiwagasan. Damn it. And here I thought we had a lead. Guess we weren't as close as we thought. Anyways, I'll fill you in when I get back. You over at Serena? Yep. Mama said we can use it whenever we want. Just meet me over here, okay? Sure. See you soon. What's up, Krem? Try not to get distracted in your way here. You know what, dude? Like, I'm not the one who was, like, running around town, like. This fucking park, man. We just spent a lot of time in this park. What the fuck is this? I don't want to fucking hear it. Get the hell out of here. What was that? Something that came from the alley. Ibuki, you bastard. If you ever poke your nose where it doesn't belong again, it will be the last thing you ever do. Enough of this. Doing this to me isn't going to change anything. Shut your yap. Ugh. This is your last warning. Don't ever show your face around here again. Man, we do a lot of shit in this alley. Hey, you all right? Kind of. I'll let you pick which one's who's dumb and who's dumber, Bob. Yeah, thanks for stopping. You're hurt. Do you need help? Don't worry. It's nothing. Wait, are you Kiro-san? You know me? I used to be a member of the Dojima family. My name is Ibuki. Ibuki. Sorry, but I don't remember you. Back then, I was just a flunky, so it's not surprising you don't remember me. Is that right? Sorry, I don't remember. No, it's fine. It was over 10 years ago. God. Hey, you don't look so good. I can't just leave you here. I'll make, you sh I'll make sure you get home safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a BDSM castle? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? 
What is this place? It used to be a restaurant I ran for the Yakuza. Called it a called it Kamarucho Castle. Hasn't been a restaurant for a long time now, though. Now it serves as the headquarters for the Honest Living Association, the HLA. I'm their representative. Honest Living Association? What's that all about? The HLA is an organization that helps former Yakuza members get out of the business and starts making an honest living. We do things like help them find work, give them low interest loans if they need them, things like that. I see. At first, we used my house for the HLA quarter headquarters, but a lot of the members need a place to stay, too. So we converted my restaurant into our dormitory and headquarters. The castle dungeon looks comes from the theming of the original restaurant. HLA members say it kind of looks like a prison, so it helps keep them on the straight and narrow. I guess it's been a contributing factor in reha rehabilitating our members back into normal society. Interesting. Never knew a place like this existed. Yes, sir. We've tried to keep it under wraps. I guess most Tojo clan members have never heard of it. Who founded the HLA? Kashiwagasan. What? Kashiwagasan? It's hard for people who leave the Yakuza to make their uh, way out and try to earn an honest living in the outside world. Kashiwagasan knew this and saw how much these guys were suffering. That's why he set up the HLA. I'm already at the castle, though. He was a well-respected man who always took care of his men, so his former Yakuza members came to him with their problems. No, I like that's the kind of stuff I don't mind, uh, OJ. They tell him that leaving the business was fine and all, but trying to make it in normal society was next to impossible. Yeah, knowing what kind of guy Kashiwaga-san was, I'm sure he lent them a sympathetic ear. To Kashiwaga-san, they were still members of his family, even though they had already left the Yakuza. Kashiwaga-san founded HLA as an organization that could provide these people with the support they needed. Is that right? Recently, as the Tojo clan was becoming more turbulent, Kashiwaga-san turned over the management of the HLA to me. He asked me to watch over our members until they could support themselves uh, through honest work. Now that Kashiwaga-san is no longer with us, it's my duty to fulfill his dying wish. Yeah, I can understand that. But now the HLA is facing a serious problem. That guy from before, you mean? Yeah, he's a former member who got help from us once, but ever uh, but somebody's given him orders to hurt the members of the HLA and the Tojo clan. Why would someone do that? And it's not just him. More and more former Yakuza are carrying out these kinds of attacks. They call themselves the Reapers, and they're obviously got an axe to grind. But all of these so-called Reapers used to work for the Yakuza as hitmen. Hitmen. So we're talking professional killers here. Wait. All we've been able to gather so far is that nobody, uh, somebody's organizing former Yakuza hitmen to get some kind of revenge. You think they want to wipe out the HLA? Well, not necessarily, seeing as they've also been harassing active members of the Tojo clan. The HLA is going to have to do something about this. We can't just lie down and take it. Is there anyone in the HLA who could make out or who could take out these hitmen? Unfortunately, no, seeing as our members are former Yakuza who are trying to avoid this sort of thing. Right. In any case, you just need someone to find these hitmen, catch them, and round them all up, right? What are you implying? If I went after these guys, you could focus on uh, helping your HLA members turn their lives around. That's pretty accurate, right? Well, yes, but I couldn't ask something like that of you. I myself left the Yakuza to live an honest life. I know how rough it could be, and I know how important it is for you to honor Kashiwaga-san's dying wish. I'll do anything I can to help. Hiro-san, would you really do this for us? I've got a lot of things uh, going on right now, but I'll definitely help when out whenever I get the chance. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. However, I can thank you for doing this. Save it for when this is all over. So what exactly uh, do you need me to do? Let me think. The HLA is using all of its resources right now to collect information on these Reapers. Whenever it's convenient for you, please stop by and I'll give you all the info we've gathered on one of the, the hitmen. And then if you manage to find and capture that hitman, give me a call and we'll take care take it from there. All right. These men will be formidable opponents. You better off going after them only one at a time. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. And for every hitman you su successfully capture, the HLA will offer you a reward, though I'm afraid it won't be much. I'm not doing this for money. But it wouldn't be right if we didn't at least cover your expenses. Please, we insist. All right. I suppose I will need to spend time and money getting ready to take them down. I'll accept your reward. Could I ask you one more thing? What is it? These Reapers aren't just causing trouble for us here in Tokyo. They've been popping up all over the country, carrying out attacks on other Tojo-affiliated families. At this stage, I'm afraid we don't have the resources to do much outside of Kamarucho. But I seem to recall you saying you live in Okinawa. That's right. 
if we get any information on Hitman and Okinawa, do you think you could head south and handle them too? Sure. No problem. I don't know when I'll be able uh, be back there next, but I'll definitely keep them in the loop. All right. I'll reach out to you whenever we find something. In any case, we can't shut these Reapers down for good until we find out who's behind all this. It's going to be difficult, but with you on our side, I don't know we can do this. Good luck. So basically, if we're, before we go back to the castle, make sure we get health and stuff. Okay. Go get some burgers. Kiryu-san. Oh, Kiryu-san. Hey, it's me. Huh? It's me, Kare. You told me about Tokyo and downtown Ri Ryukyu, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, it's you. You really did move to Tokyo, huh? I'm doing great. The rent's really expensive, just like you said. And train transfers are pretty complicated, but I'm having the time of my life here in Tokyo. Yeah, that's good to hear. Oh, right. Here, have this. Fresh off the griddle. You got smile fries. Hold on, are you sure you should be giving this, me this? Oh, it's fine. Be just between you and me, I take all the leftovers home with me. <laughs> See you next time. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. So I just got a bunch of hamburgers. What's up, Toasty? Just sitting in my fucking pocket. Got burgers in my pocket. Burgers in my pocket. I have a sausage in my pocket too, but that's different. Can I get uh, you anything, Kiru-san? Kiru. Oh, Kiru. Feel like you've been gone for hours. You have trouble finding Kanda or something? That was part of it, but also... Also what? Mama, you mind if I f uh, if a friend I brought up from Okinawa stays here with me? They won't be around any longer than I am. Oh, of course. Is this a, a erm special friend? Yeah, we bang. No, you've got to be talking about Haruka, right? No, on both counts. It's actually the captain of the Ryuta family, one of the biggest syndicates in Okinawa. And we're definitely talking about a guy here, right? Or did you go and hook yourself some big shot female Yakuza? His name's Rukia. He's pretty much uh, just a kid. <laughs> oh, oh, well, in that case, he's especially welcome. We could use some young blood to fresh out the place. All I know I'm going to get is here is middle-aged farts like Dada-san. Oh. What happened to mean? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee, just give me a taste of your own medicine. That's what you get for calling me an old lady all the time. <sighs> well, I guess I deserve that. <laughs> Anyways, you guys are welcome to stay in the back office so as long as you don't cause any trouble in here. I mostly just use it for storage. I appreciate it, Mama. So, where's this guy? I let him go explore Kamarucho a bit, see the sights. He's coming but here when he's done. Sounds like a damn tourist. So much for work ethic. Everything okay, Dada-san? It doesn't sound like you're in a very good mood. Nah, it's nothing. Anike. Finally found you, Anike. Would you believe I went in like five different bars before I ended up here? This city's a goddamn maze or something. This your guy, Kiru? Yup. Kiru, uh, Rikia, this is my friend Dada-san. I couldn't tell you how many times he's helped me over the years. Oh, and this is m the mama of the bar. Nice. Anike's friends, huh? Pleasure to meeting you. The name's Rikia... Shima Bukuro. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Well, someone has a lot of energy. Hee <laughs> hee. I try, ma'am. <laughs> it's Date. Please. Nice. Oh, the honor's all mine. Rikia, you finished looking around town? I mean, I guess, but what's wrong? I never found that bikini bar I was looking for. I really wanted to see what kind of heat a Tokyo one could bring, too. 
I didn't realize it was that important to him. Ugh. Anyways, Kiru, I'm ready to hear what went down with Kanda wherever you're, uh, whenever you're ready to spill it. Just let me know when it's time, okay? I want to really dig into the details here. Yeah, let's talk. Uh. Let's talk. Great. So what? Tell me what happened with Kanda. Well. Well. The Mad Dog. Soka. Oh yeah. Wagatta. Got it. Goguro. You did good. So he's the bad guy with, behind all this. Although we know, sounds like Kanda got a little, nice little visit from the fourth chairman. Whole family's gone up in flames. Impressive he did it all single-handedly. But I suppose the dragon Dojima still got some bite in him. Black cigarettes. It's safe to say Kiru-san will keep poking around the, this Okinawa business. By now, the guy's probably long known you're wrapped up in this whole shebang, too. It's a giant lighter. Are those clove cigarettes? If you ever smoked a clove cigarette, they're fucking nuts. Meaning the next place they'll show is right at your feet. Is this the rich guy, too? I brought you into this Okinawa deal, so I guess it's my fault if he comes after you. But it's worth it for, for you. Building this resort will net your family an easy 100 bill. Just as so happens that it'll also make you the key suspect in the sixth chairman's shooting. Majima-san, what? I want Kamarucho all to myself. So, you know what has to be done. Majima looks like he's fucking like... You've got the most to lose if Kiryu-san gets in our way, after all. Doesn't matter how you do it. Just do it. Or your head's the one that will roll. I've beat up Majima like a dozen times. A dozen plus times. You just pass out of the bar. Kiru, we caught wind of a big story. Our political team has been working hard to crack this. Tommy Mura from the De Minister of Defense finally agreed to terms with the Okinawa Prefectural Assembly. In other words, the military expansion he's been pushing for is a done deal. But the base and the resort are two halves of the same whole. <coughs> if one starts picking up steam, the other one's bound to come with it. Guess that explains why the resort's been back in the public eye all of a sudden. Oh, and Kiru, there's something you might want to know about the players in this resort deal. This tip found its way to our news desk. It's a photo sent from an, an anonymous source. No. Suzuki's moving ahead with his resort one way or another. And the one secretly tapped for construction? No, none other than the Majima family. Not Majima construction! Have to say, never thought Majima would be mixed up in all this. Even with his reputation. Yeah. Not sure if he's the one leading the charge, but he's definitely involved. You think maybe he shot De uh, Diego and Kashiwaga? No. 
There's no chance. Look, Kiru, I know you, are t you two are pals and all, but a Yakuza who's your friend is still a Yakuza. Majima especially. Let the dog off his leash and who knows what will happen. You're wrong. Majima-san promised me he'd look after Diego. He's not the promise-breaking type. I trust him. I know how you feel. I really do. But what if you're wrong? What if Majima really is behind all this? If that's the case, then I'll have no choice but to kill him. Kiru. I'm going to go talk to him. Hold on, Kiru. We don't know what whose side he's on. That's exactly why I need to go. I have a lot of questions. And Maj what? Is he still over in Purgatory? Yep. Family headquarters hasn't moved an inch. Still looks like nothing more than an empty lot, though. Oh, and the way it's uh, the way ends the same too. Through the bathroom and park, just like always. Got it. And Kiru, promise me you won't let your guard down. Why can't I go? Why is like the construction thing still like that? Doesn't make any sense. Like. That was two years ago, and they were, like, setting up a construct. I don't get it. Get out of my way, assholes. Get out of my way. Hey, you guys. What happened to this dude? Like, we saw this before, right? Hey, you all right? I'm fine. Just, just leave me alone. Time to be a good Samaritan. Uh, uh, you okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm fine. The hell? Why do you have so many copies of Shonen 5? Yes, um, well... You on your way to deliver them? Yeah. No, I bought all of them. You bought all of them? What for? Um, well... Oh, no, I've got to hurry. Why? What's up? I've got to get to this important meeting at a cafe. Sorry, but I really have to go. Maybe you should put that bag into a coin locker before you run off to your meeting. That would I would be the most infit person ever if that was the case, Bob. It's fine. I'll get rid of them later. Wait, get rid of them. Anyways, thanks for the help, but I've got to get going. So I'm debating what game I'm playing after uh, between Yakuza Three and Yakuza Four, and the uh. The uh, delivery simulator, I'm thinking, is one of them. Death Stranding. There he goes. Why is he going to throw all those magazines away? Hope he's feeling all right. He said he was going to a cafe for a meeting. May be a good idea to chicken on that guy later. Dude, I keep I forgot to get the cramped simulator from Katie the last time I was over there. The cramp simulator is there on that, and that will only be a day, like, you know, a couple hours or whatever, but I did forget. I'll be over at Katie's and uh, Zeke's soon enough, and I will... It was because we took, uh, we took, uh, this to the airport, and then I was fucking, like, Everyone was all like tired and shit. I will be all over Zeke. Giggity. Giggity. Zeke is a sexy bear. I mean, look at him. Look at him. Uh. 
sneak keys over here. So much shit in the parking lot. <laughs> Why is there like nothing in any of these alleys, man? There should be like shit in these alleys, like oh. items and hookers and Do I have a bunch of health stuff? Let's see. I have a bunch of health stuff. I should be okay. parking lot I still don't know why he hasn't built anything here I gotta go pee in a second Why are we doing this instead of going underground? Dial 007 for assistance. Majima's <laughs> like the Joker of the the Yakuza universe. Well, wow, that's a lot of dudes. Majima san. Why the stern face, Kirchan? I didn't spook you, did I? What is all this? Oh, just my chaperones. World's so upside down. If it ain't even safe keeping your office above ground anymore. But the Majima family's arms are wide open. So, how about we take this somewhere a little more private? We're gonna go private. Giggity. Giggity. It's private, guys. Get it? Down low, exactly. Just got the place, uh, got just the place in mind. Don't go falling behind, Kirochan. I mean, how. Why is there, like, no one down here? And it's so quiet. Like, there's no noise. Are we going to go fight? Okay. Head down, ass up. That's the way we like it. Whatever. Last stop, Kirochan. The Coliseum. Only things fighting there now are the dust bunnies. It's nice and quiet. You got my word, shall we? Okay. That's the way we like it. What? The memories are flooding back, huh? Only been two years since I was taken to the ring myself.
Ojima always wants to fight. Got fond memories trading blows with you here, Kiro-chan. Too bad it's a damn ghost town now. The Coliseum's closed. Been so for about a year now. Something else came up, pulled my attention away. Something like the Okinawa Resort deal. Guess the Viper's out of the bag, huh? Majima-san, why did you do it? Why get involved? I was keeping my eye out for it, Dago, just like we promised. What do you mean?